Hey guys, welcome back to Miss Shan Shorty Recipes. Thank you for joining me. Today I am going to take two of my favorite things, jalapeno poppers and soup. <laughs> we're going to join those together and we're going to actually make a jalapeno popper soup. Leave in the comments below if you've actually had this soup before. This is my first time trying it and it sounded delicious. It's got all the flavors that I love with the jalapeno popper. So we're gonna recreate that recipe today. If you guys are feeling this idea, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. Also, if you can guys, drop me a comment down below. Share this video out, share this video out. Much appreciated. And if you're not subscribed already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop a new recipe. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so here in this pot, I have some diced up bacon. It's pretty much like half a pack of regular bacon. Just go ahead and let that cook inside your pot that you're actually gonna make your soup in because you're gonna reserve all the goodness for the soup. So once the bacon has rendered down, you're gonna have the bacon fat or grease inside. But like I said, it's going to play a part in our soup, so don't drain that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add some diced up jalapenos. It's about four jalapenos that I diced up and let those cook and marinate with that bacon. I gotta tell you, the smell was fabulous. Plus, I just love the look of the bacon and the jalapenos cooking together. But it did smell fantastic. Here I'm just adding some garlic powder. And then also I'm going to add my flour. And this is where the saving the bacon fat or grease comes into play because the flour is actually going to create a roux for us, which is a thickening agent so that our soup is not too runny and it's a, a nice thicker consistency. So just keep stirring or whisking just so that you're able to get that flour fully incorporated to our bacon and jalapeno mixture. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken broth. Make sure that is fully incorporated into our mixture as well. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add my milk. So then I went ahead and added my potatoes, which I just diced up into small pieces. And as you guys can see, this is slightly resembling a potato soup. So if you love a good potato soup, you're definitely going to enjoy this jalapeno popper soup. So now that we have our potatoes in there, of course we need to let our potatoes cook. So just let your soup go ahead and come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, go ahead, take it off the heat and add your cheese. Here I just used some freshly grated cheddar cheese. Stir that all together as well. 
And remember, take it off the heat. Now we can go ahead and season it. I added some salt and some cayenne pepper and then also some regular black pepper. Stir that all together. All right guys, so here is our soup. Just to garnish the soup, I went ahead and took some more cheese and some more bacon, put that on top, and then a few slices of the jalapeno just to give it that extra pop, that jalapeno pop. I think the soup turned out good. It's perfect for a chilly day, especially since it's a jalapeno popper soup. It's definitely gonna make you feel nice and warm inside. We've got that broth that is full of that cheddar cheese and bacon, the jalapeno bits, and then also we have those delicious velvety potatoes in there. As I said, you guys, if you do love a nice loaded potato soup, it's pretty much the same thing, except it's got the jalapenos in there to add a different type of, it hits different. <laughs> So guys, if you did enjoy this recipe, please go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. Also drop me a comment down below. Share this video out, share this video out. And if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified of when I drop a new video. You guys take care and thanks for watching. Bye guys.